How does noise help robustness? In this talk, I'm going to introduce our paper that tries to answer this question under our NeurSD framework. This is a joint work with Xiao, Si, Cao, Kuma, and Xie. As we know, the current deep neural network are susceptible to even a tiny change uh, known as adversarial perturbation. And the perturbation is usually crafted by maximizing the classification loss uh, given the input. And here in this picture, I'm showing you the uh, a photo of Panda. If we apply uh, a small perturbation scaled by epsilon, the neural network generates a completely wrong prediction with high confidence. And such phenomenon prevents us to deploy our deep model to some uh, mission critical uh, scenarios. And we have seen a lot of efforts uh, in the past few years trying to solve or at least to mitigate this problem. One useful approach is to simply add a bunch of noise layers. And here I show you some Gaussian noise layers uh, in between every convolutional blocks. And during the training time, the, new, the neural network gets more uh, regularization and gets accommodates to the noisy environment. During the testing time, we do not remove the noise layers, but averaging the results over the uh, multiple forward propagations. In order to understand the effectiveness of randomization in adversarial defense, there are a few related works which successfully generates a computable bound for guaranteed robust accuracy. And however, this approach or assume uh, only one randomization layer is applied to the neural network, which is in fact less as good as uh, adding a few, um, a few more random layers. So in this paper, we adopt a different approach, which uh, work around this limitation. To understand our neural SD approach, let's first look at a typical resonant block consisting of a convolutional block F, a short card, as well as a noise layer G. Uh, the noise block G could be induced by drop out, drop block, or any other source of randomness. So the output uh, Xn plus 1 is a composition of previous hidden feature Xn, Fxn, which is the output of convolution block, and the output of noise block. Now let's follow the idea of neural OD paper by China et al. And we develop a continuous version of uh, when the noise layer come into play, i.e. we added two more integrals uh, shown as uh, Brownian diffusion and Poisson jump process. Readers can see our paper for more details regarding to this. Here I give you two instances. Case one is a Gaussian smoothing where epsilon follows a zero mean normal distribution. We could generalize it to a stochastic integral on the right hand side. And case two is a drop out where gamma follows Bernoulli distribution. We could still rewrite it to a continuous form, but this time it would be an integral to a Poisson process rather than the Brownian motion. Based on the neural SD framework, we could borrow the Lyapunov stability theory in stochastic control to analyze the stability of neural networks under adversarial perturbation. And informally, we are able to develop the relationship between the Lipschitz of the network with the variance of noise layers in order to stabilize the inference. And our theory correlates well to the simulated results, but also um, shows some insights to the real data. As you could see in the figures, after adding the noise, the adversarial perturbation is pretty much under control. And to convince you, we conducted three different experiments. In the first experiment, we compared the adversarial robustness with and without random smoothing under uh, three different datasets. It shows that in most cases, the drop out or multiplicative noise outperforms the ODE model. In the following experiment, we test the non-adversarial perturbation consisting of some image corruption benchmarks. We again see our neural SD with dropout noise outperforms the noise-free uh, ODE model. Lastly, we compare the generalizability of different models, and without surprising, we still see our neural SD outperforms the baseline. Thanks for watching and welcome to my post session.